CPHI MIS exam preparation question and answer question number 141 lean is a tool that has been around the manufacturing industry for a long time and only more recently has it been applied to healthcare organization this is partially due to the healthcare reimbursement system changing from fee for service to pay for value incentivizing more and more organization to undergo lean transformation taking on lean transformation can provide an organization significant gain in productivity quality and cost, cost reproduction but require a cultural shift this type of a shift is driven by leadership and needs to have the right principle in place to transform the culture which of the following are most appropriate management principles to create lean culture a value the customer open communication participate and contribute pursue excellent share knowledge keep it simple b be a leader exceed customer expectation continuously improve keep it simple seek perfection respect for every individual c attitude of continuous improvement value creation unity of purpose respect for frontline workers visual tracking flexible regimentation d create a value that every steps quantity or quality keep it simple seek relentless perfection share knowledge listen and communicate Answer C. Attitude of continuous improvement, value creation, unity of purpose, respect for front lines, workers, visual tracking, flexible regimentation. Explanation. To achieve a successful lean transformation and sustain the gains, you must change the culture of the organization. These six principles, attitude of continuous improvement, value creation, unity of purpose, respect for frontline workers visual tracking and flexible regimentation have been found across multiple successful lean organizations and provide a starting framework for leaders to instill as they take on their own lean journeys question number 142 which of the following strategies is most likely to improve problems with electronic quality major data capture and reporting? A. Using only data from clinical registry. B. Manual abstraction. C. Natural language processing in writing clinical notes. D. Use of clinical data model associated with standardized data warehouse. Answer D. Use of clinical data model associated with standardized data warehouse. Explanation. While the use of any these techniques may be used in capture or validation of quality measured data, the most direct, immediately Im impactful is the use of data model such as the quality data model QDM. The data model would need to be mapped to data as it's captured into the system. With, the, with that data model information being tagged to its metadata as it improve into data warehouse for maximum effectiveness the quality measures targeted should be mapped to data model at the beginning of the period of capture and tested throughout the period of performance question number 143 which of the following is good working definition of palliative care a short term approach to providing pain control b targeted patient education designed to prevent individual chronic disease de development c medicare which prevents 
or treats symptoms and side effects of disease and treatment and is designed to patient and family centered the engagement of patient in their health decision making through technology such as patient portraits and tracking devices on the see medicare which prevents or treats symptoms side effects of disease and treatments and is designed to be patient and family centered question number 144 which one of the following is not potential outcome of clinical decision support alerts cds alerts a creation of continuity of care document b prevention of adverse drug events c improvement of reimbursement and regulatory compliance d provide treatment recommendation answer a creation of continuity of care documents explanation a key element of the electronic health record or clinical decision support alert cds alert and our systems that aid the users with clinical decision key outcomes of cds alerts should could be could be to provide treatment recommendation prevent adverse drug events cost containment and improvement reimbursement and regu electric compliance cds alert are not designed to create continuity of care document continuity of care documents are structured documents created within emr but not within the cds component question number 145 in order to optimize clinical decision support alerts cds alert memorial herman identified potential areas of inefficient alerting to clinical user the main two criteria they reviewed were a low frequency alerts and high alert override rates b low frequency alerts and low alerts override rates c high frequency alerts and low override rates d high frequency alerts and high alert override rates answer d high frequency alerts and high alert or rights explanation data extraction tools and data visualization tools identify potential areas of inefficient alerting to the clinical users knowledge that cds alerts need to be actionable actionable and measurable memorial herman identified these opportunities by looking at two key criteria a first high frequency alerts resulting in alert fatigue b high or right rates suggesting low clinical utility for the alerts question number 146 with the emergence of data driven clinical decision support tools in particular those that aggregate the collective expertise of clinicians and make recommendation based on pattern learned from historical electronic health record data Def- defining a robust external reference standard is necessary for the case of promoting compliance with clinical practice guidelines which of the following proves to be largest ba- barrier to defining a reference standard even for common admission d- diagnosis a There are too few clinical practice guidelines in literature to assemble a robust reference standards b in translating clinical practice guidelines for a given admission diagnosis into infinite reference standards and subjectivity and interpretations are required there is no systematic way for multiple clinicians with different opinions to reach a consensus on single reference standard d clinical practice guidelines derived from more reputable literature source should be assigned more weight is more weight than the those derived from less reputable sources
आंसर बी इन ट्रांसलेटिंग क्लिनिकल प्रैक्टिस गाइडलाइंस फॉर गिवन एडमिशन डायग्नोसिस इनटू फाइनाइट रेफरेंस स्टैंडर्ड्स सब्जेक्टिविटी एंड इंटरप्रिटेशन आर रिक्वायर्ड क्वेश्चन नंबर 147 द रोल ऑफ प्रोजेक्ट मैनेजर इन सिस्टम इंप्लीमेंटेशन इज टू ए लीड द स्टीयरिंग कमेटी बी चूज द वेंडर सी कीप द प्रोजेक्ट ऑन ट्रैक डी अप्रूव एनी चेंजेस ऑफ प्रोजेक्ट स्कोप आंसर सी कीप द प्रोजेक्ट ऑन ट्रैक क्वेश्चन नंबर 148 Clinical order patterns derived from data mining electronic health records can be valuable source of decision support content. However, learned pattern can be compromised of underlying provider experience, as clinical orders of less experienced provider trainees can exhibit greater uh, variability and worsen patient outcome than those of experienced providers attending. Based on the conclusion of this podium abstract, which choice of training data will invariably held the greatest compliance with clinical practice guidelines a training indiscriminately on all available data b always training on cherry picked sub, uh, subset of the most expert clinicians c always vetting out data generated by less experienced clinician for example training to improve models accuracy d single approach will invariably held the best outcomes on said no single approach will in invariably held the best outcomes question number 149 a learning emr identifies highlights emr data that is relevant for given patient and clinical context which of the following can be enabled by such learning emr a faster access to patient data b increase responsiveness of emr to mouse clicks c reduce time needed to assess the patient's conditions d more coherent display of patient data Answer C. Reduce time needed to assess the patient's conditions. Explanation: The learning EMR focuses on physician attention on relevant patient data. This could help reduce the time needed to assess the patient's condition and improve the quality of resulting judgments, enabling improved decision making, reduce medical errors, and greater efficiency. question number 149 a learning emr identifies and highlights emr data that is relevant for given patient and clinical context which of the following can be enabled by such a learning emr a faster access to patient data b increase responsiveness of emr to mouse clicks c reduce time needed to assess patient's condition d more coherent display of patient data answer c reduce time needed to assess patient conditions explanation the learning emr focus okay explanation the learning emr focus the physician attention on relevant patient data this could help reduce time needed to assess the patient conditions and improve the quality of resulting judgments enabling improved decision making reduce medical errors and greater efficiency question number 150 a learning emr discloses what type of pattern from the emr databases a medical appointments patterns b patient data access patterns c patterns of 
comorbidities d medication prescription patterns answer b patient data access patterns explanation the learning emr uses a data driven approach to predict and highlight data that are most relevant to patient case it does so by analyzing patterns of patient data accessed in emr from these patterns it learns and model of which emr data are likely to be relevant to highlight for given patient and clinical context